In today's episode, I have five neutral farmhouse Valentine's Day crafts. Listen, I know Valentine's Day is not for everyone, and I actually have a tip in this video that I'm going to be sharing. Even if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, hearts are the cutest shape. You can do spring colors that are neutral, that have that farmhouse feel to it, without committing to all the hot pink and the red and the black and the white. This way you're able to have a little bit of a nod to Valentine's Day without it being in your face. Now pick up your scissors and let's get crafting. I found these wooden hearts at the Dollar Plus section of the Dollar Tree. They're $3 each and I also had this wood stair rail on hand. I'm first going to figure out how tall I want the bottom two trays to be apart and cut those down with my miter box. Then I'm going to figure out with this extra piece how tall I want the top of the stand to be for the tiered tray we're going to be making. So I'm just measuring how tall I want it to be and I'm going to cut that down as well. Now I will say if you have a saw I would definitely recommend doing that instead of the miter box but I love my miter box because sometimes I don't want to go out to the garage to cut everything on the big machine. So I did that first and now I'm drilling some holes. Two holes in the middle of the bottom of the heart boxes and then I'm going to drill some holes on both sides of our stair railing that we cut down these two pieces and this is so that we can make it stronger. I am not a fan of just putting wood glue and hot glue without having some kind of a joint in the middle of all of these. So you can see here what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start at the very bottom of my first heart and I'm using these cute spindles from ribbon or twine or thread. I actually buy these at Hobby Lobby in their wood section. And I'm adding on some hot glue and some wood glue because I like how both of them work together. And then I'm going to add in a shish kebab stick. This is going to be the thing that we're going to be threading everything through and it's going to make it so much stronger because it's going to be able to help everything bind. So once I've got that first one in the middle, I'm going to come back in on the bottom and I'm going to add four more of these little spools and I'm going to just put them so that they're the supportive legs on the bottom of the tray. Now I cut down my shish kebab stick and I added on more of that same glue pattern, hot glue and wood glue, and I came on with my stair railing. Got that glued in place, then I went to the next spot. Now I'm going at the top of that stair railing. So now I'm going to just put in my next stick, follow the same glue process, and now I'm going to put on the top. This sounds complicated, but it really is so simple. It is incredible how much they charge for these trays when you can make them for pennies. I mean, well, a couple bucks, because the two trays are $6 together, and then you add on the stair railing, which I had on hand, and a couple of these little wood pieces, so maybe like eight bucks at the most. I would say that it cost me to make this, and if you tried to buy something like this at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's, these are easily 30 to 50 bucks. So I'm gonna make mine for about seven, eight bucks. Now I'm just coming in with my paint, and I painted the inside of the trays a solid white and the spindle white, but on the outsides I wanted to keep them looking more rustic farmhouse, so I kind of did a chunky brush across wanting to still see that wood coming through so it's got that rustic farmhouse. And then now I'm just coming in with some distressing paint which is a very dark brown and I'm very lightly brushing it on. And after that it's ready to be used however you would like and it is the cutest tear tray. We are going to be taking two of these long wood pieces from the craft section at the Dollar Tree, some of these hearts, and then I know so many of us have tons of these boxes after this last couple years with all the DIYs everyone was doing with them. If you have them left over, this is a great project for you. 
So we're gonna take four of these and we're gonna glue those opening cutouts to each other so that you don't see them. And then we're gonna glue two more together so that on the outside of this box, you only see the nice wood pieces that are not cut out. Now we're gonna take those longer rectangle pieces and we are gonna go ahead and glue that onto the front and the other side so that you don't see all those joints in there. Now I'm gonna take some of my wood putty and I'm gonna just fill in those holes. And given you could technically skip this rectangle piece, but I wanted to make it look more high end that it was one continuous wood box. So at this point, after that wood putty had dried, I sanded it, I painted it, and I added in some foam squares inside the box for some florals in a minute. Now on the front, I'm gonna take some of these hearts, do a wood stain and glue them on. And you can see here, this obviously has a Valentine's Day theme, but it's not a hit you over the head theme. This has a very spring theme where it has just hearts on it. And this is what I'm saying about these types of projects. You definitely can get the look without it being too themey. For this project, we're going to be using two of these tile stickers. We're going to be using one of these wood Valentine's Day signs. I ended up showing these hearts, but I didn't use the little hearts. And I'm only going to use one of the large hearts. Start by tracing your wooden sign onto the tiles. And remember, these tiles, their sticker sheets on the back, when you cut them, they actually come apart because they're only bound on the edges of the tile. So that's okay. So you can see I just pulled off the backing on it because I actually prefer to hot glue these on. They hold so much better. Once they're on, go ahead and paint the background of the tag sign that you would like, the color you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the heart and I'm gonna do a pretty wood stain on it with just using paint and water. And now I'm gonna come in with that same paint and I'm going to lightly dry brush on the tile, make sure you use very little paint on that. And then to make the heart stand out a little bit, I added some white around the heart's edges just to give it more of that rustic farmhouse look. Again, this is supposed to look very neutral, more spring versus being super intense with the bright colors of Valentine's Day. This might be more your jam. I don't know, give it a try. Add a couple bows to finish it off and it's ready to be displayed. So I have been asked by a couple people if I actually celebrate Valentine's Day, and I do, and here is the reason why. There's actually two. The first one is, is my dad's birthday is actually on Valentine's Day. So it was one of those holidays in our home that we celebrated in conjunction to my dad's birthday. The second reason why I actually really love Valentine's Day, back when I was a kid, it was always about like, you know, Cupid, finding your love and your romance. As an adult, I have changed my opinion on Valentine's Day with the meaning of it. I like to think of it as the love day. Our wonderful, kind, and gracious Savior taught us to love one another. That it is one of the greatest gifts that we can give each other. And so, with that being said, I love to use Valentine's Day as a day that I focus on the people that I love most. The Savior was so wise when he taught us to love one another. So, for this coming Valentine's Day, maybe you don't want to celebrate the Cupid and the romantic side of it, which I think is totally fine. But I would like to encourage all of you that are watching it today to take a little time to send a little love note to people that matter to you and your life. This next project is so easy. I found this wooden box with a frame on it for $5 at the dollar plus section at the Dollar Tree. And then I printed out a picture. I know a lot of people struggle with Valentine's Day too because you just don't know what to give people. <laughs> so this, when I saw this box, I thought, oh, this would be such a sweet gift to give someone. So what I'm gonna do for mine is I'm gonna 
stain the bottom of the box and paint the top of the frame white and then I'm going to put a picture in it of my kids. And this is such a great gift to give a spouse, a husband, or a grandparent. All you do is you cut out and put that picture in and fill it with some chocolates or you can fill it with some keepsakes and some memory things or it can become a memory box for them to put things that their kids give them inside of it which is just such a fun memory box to have without having a bunch of unnecessarily holiday clutter around. For this DIY craft, we are gonna be using some of these wooden hearts, a wooden plaque. I had this leftover metal heart from a couple years ago. I've just been holding on to it. One of these plastic tiles and then some scrapbook paper. Pick out the paper color you want. I'm gonna be going with a pink and a white because again, I'm doing a lot of pink and whites for this video. I want to show you that you can do colors that are so neutral without it being too intense for your home. So I'm going to just trace the first heart. All three of my hearts are going to be different. So the first one's going to have some scrapbook paper, this cute pattern on it. It's very farmhouse. You can see that when I trace it on the back side, there is overhang because these hearts are beveled and get smaller towards the front. So what I like to do is I like to get the initial shape by tracing the back. Then I glue it on and then I rough it up with my scissors and I actually like how the paper looks. For the tiles, I would recommend flipping the heart down so that bevel side is down, the smaller part, tracing as best you can around it and then cut that out and make some adjustments if it's hanging over a little too much. I did the same for the wood base, the plaque that we're going to be putting all the hearts into and then I glued those on. This is gonna allow it to have such pretty texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill three holes into that plaque. You can see that they're in different positions because we're going to be putting wooden dowels into these. I added some wood glue first to make sure it's gonna bind in there nice and well. And then I'm gonna use hot glue to create the support around it so it stays in and it doesn't pop out. Now I'm going to bring in the paint. The heart that I didn't put anything on, that one is going to get some paint. The front of the heart is a solid white covered paint and then the sides I'm keeping it more raw, more chunky as I'm painting it. I want to see the wood coming through and I did that on the other two hearts as well except for the paper one I obviously didn't paint the front. Now I'm working on the base. I went ahead and painted that as well. And the heart that didn't have anything on except for paint, that's where that metal heart is going to go. I know that we have lots of these little types of scraps when we're doing these DIYs, and I honestly just hang on to the ones that I really like the most, like these metal hearts. By the way, beware hot gluing those metal hearts down. The heat does transfer through. It can burn your hand. Now we're going to come back in with a really dark brown color and I'm going to dry brush, meaning taking almost all the paint off so it's, there's very little on the brush, and we're going to lightly brush along the surface of those tiles, which will bring forth that texture and that pattern. Now at this point, we're gonna be able to glue on our hearts, decide which ones you want where with your patterns and your textures, and you can see that I'm just zigzagging the glue back and forth so that it has a nice, hold onto those wooden hearts. Once that glue is dry, flip it over, add on a cute bow twine. I think this makes it look so farmhouse and just adorable. And then once you've got that on, I always like to finish my backside, so I flipped it over and gave the back of the hearts and the bottom of my cute decor piece some paint.
I hope you enjoyed these neutral DIYs for farmhouse decor for Valentine's Day. I had so much fun creating them and it just shows that you don't have to create heavily themed holiday projects. You can just add in the shape of a heart and you get that look where it still has a little more of a nod to spring. I love doing projects like this because it gives them more life and longevity in my home. I want to thank you all for being here today and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. I sure do appreciate it every single time you all do that for me. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss all the notifications of videos coming up throughout Monday through Friday. If you missed that announcement, I am now posting Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time all throughout this spring. Leave a comment down below to let me know which one you liked, which one you think you will try, and if you even still like Farmhouse. I still like Farmhouse. Is it just me? Let me know in the comments down below. And until the next episode, bye friends.